in InDesign for your magazine project as well as your cookbook project, which will be the next project, um, you're going to be exporting your final um, design to individual um, pages in a PDF and then you um, will upload that to view in a flipbook format. So that's what I'm going to be talking about in this demo. So when I say individual pages, I don't mean that there's individual PDFs. It's one PDF of singular pages versus having them in a spread like this. So I want to show you kind of the difference between the two first. Um, so let's do that. So I can go to File, Export, or Command-E. Um, I try and use a lot more shortcuts, so Command-E. Um, it's going to give us this export um, option here, and I'm going to change this to a PDF print, not interactive. Um, and I'm using a student's project here, so um, I'm going to go ahead and save this just to my desktop so I can grab it easily. And I'm going to make um, individual pages um, first. So I'm going to hit... Uh, I'm going to hit, go ahead and hit that save at the bottom. And then when I get to this page, this is what the difference between individual pages and spreads. And this student did um, an extra spread. So this is part of the honors um, project for this class. Um, and so if you're doing honors, you need to do an extra um, two pages, which is why we're seeing that here. Um, and then um, so under general, I'm going to keep with that singular page right now. So I'm going to keep this done and then I'm going to go to marks and bleeds and I'm going to make sure nothing's selected here um, for uploading this to a flipbook. I don't want to be showing crop marks and um, any of the bleeds. So do not select this here either. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and hit export and it's just saying something's overset and that's fine. And I'm missing some of the fonts. So obviously if this was your document, you don't want to be missing any fonts um, and you shouldn't be. So if I double click this PDF, let me zoom out. I'm going to hit command zero and it'll zoom, zoom out. Um, but you can see here that these are now individual um, pages. Um, so we're not looking at them as facing pages. So I'm going to go ahead and export this again. And this time I'm going to hit underscore spreads. I'm going to add that to the end. It's still a PDF. I need to name it something else or else it's going to override that one anyway. And I like to know which one is the spread. So I'm going to hit um, that save. And now I'm going to select spreads here. And no marks and bleeds. Um, so I'm going to hit export and then OK. It's going to give me those same warnings and then it'll put it on my um, desktop. Here it is. So now when I open this one, now I'm looking at it as spreads. So that's really the difference between exporting as individual pages and exporting it as spreads. Um, the next part of this I want to talk about um, um, making this into a flip book. So if you, I've provided the links for both issue and flip snack. These are just two options. And if you have another one, you can use it. That's perfectly fine. I usually use flip snack, but issue allows more pages um, for free where flip snack has a, um, it has a, a max. And so I did a large book recently for our art show, so I had to find another one, so I used Issue. So you're gonna hit Create Account and you're gonna make a new account. And once you do that and it's free, um, once you make a new account, then it's gonna take you in to where you can actually add content. So you'd be able to upload your PDF here. And with Flip, Flip Snack, it's the same thing. You're gonna create an account. Um, I already have one here. I'm gonna go ahead and um, log in. I'm just going to close. So this is a flip book that I made with an ABCs of typography book. So you can see that you're just flipping through. It's, it's pretty easy. Um, so if I want to upload a new file, I'm going to go ahead and hit upload file. And um, I'm going to, first I'm going to do the spreads because I want to show you the difference between the two and the spreads is not correct. Um, it's not gonna give us what we need, but I wanna show you that so that you can see it. 
So a spread file would be more for viewing, um, if we're just viewing your file um, kind of as it was, um, then you'd want to do spreads. Oops. So... Not quite sure what just happened, so let me try this again. Let me go to um, upload, upload more files. Um, let me try this again here. Oh, this looks the same. Oh, I, well, I didn't um, publish it, but maybe that's why. Okay, next, publish, um, let me go back here, I think what's happening, is someone going to let me go back, so let me delete this one, yeah that's fine, okay, okay so let's try this again. For some reason it's only letting me you can also upload your file from your OneDrive. Next. And it's gonna change the format. You'll notice that other one was more of a landscape because it's following the format of my actual document. Um, so notice that there's all this negative space around it, and that's because I uploaded the spread, um, and you don't want to upload a spread. So you want to make sure that you're uploading individual pages. That's why this is not correct. This should actually be one page, two page, three, and four, where it's just showing it um, here as an individual um, uh, page one spread instead of two. So I'm going to get rid of that one, submit, and now I'm going to upload the individual page um, option here. I'm going to hit next. And you're going to view it to make sure that it's correct before you do anything else. So we're gonna look, so this is better. So now we're looking at individual um, pages and my back page is blank because there wasn't one and that's perfectly fine. Okay, so now that this is correct, what you're gonna need to do is hit publish. And um, once you hit um, publish, this is not showing me what I remember. So let me go back to, um, let's see what this is. You have to make sure that you're publishing it um, first, and then it allows you to um, share the link. So um, now when we're doing a demo, you go to full screen, and this is how we're going to be um, reviewing your, um, your actual document. And then this is the URL for your book. So if you hit copy, um, when you go to D2L, you want to paste this somewhere um, in your records too because this is how you're going to be able to view this um, flip snack. But if I come here and I put it in, then this is how I can view um, your flip book. Um, that's how I can view your flip book too. So I'm requiring that you give me this URL. And remember, when we look at your... Um, when, we, when we're looking at your books, um, your flipbooks, if you make any changes, you need to upload um, a new PDF single page to this file so that we can, um, you can send me the copy of your final. Um, and you are gonna give me a copy for your, um, your uh, soft critique. I'm gonna want this URL code so that I can pull it up and um, kind of quickly and we can go through them if we're doing kind of an online um, format of classes when we get back um, to school. Um, and you're going to want to give me your final URL. So just make sure you hit copy and you save that and give it to me in D2L. 
and that is it for, um, for this demo. I hope this was helpful.